Exchange. But this is the, the, the type of stuff that most people don't know anything about, and there's a reason why most people have never heard of any of this, because it doesn't have anything to do with football. It's got nothing to do with silly-ass sports and basketball and all that other <laughs> silly-ass stuff that kids love to play. You know, that's what you've always give the kids, a ball. Tell the kids to go out and play ball. I don't care what ball, basketball, <laughs> ping-pong ball, football, golf ball. I don't care. Get the damn kid out of here and go play with a ball. Give the kid and he'll go out and play ball. That's why they have the president of the United States. He goes out and throws the first ball because daddy's out playing ball with us. You know, while all the kids are out there, all the schmucks are out there watching the ball game. And daddy's out there with the senators and the congressmen. They're watching the ball game. I want to know what these freaks are doing at 2 o'clock in the morning that they haven't told us. I want to know about their boyfriends and all the money that's changing hands and all the shit that's really going on. That's, the, that's where the name of the tune is. When you find out that these guys who are running the planet are playing us for a bunch of fools, let them go out and play ball. And send some movie stars, send some of them chumps that we own, send them out there and let them get, be on TV so you can see on the basketball games they'll always show Jack Nicholson and some big movie stars at the, at the ball game. Because that keeps all the schmucks uh, interested to go out with the movie stars and watch a ball game. Not me. I'm not going to any ball game. I wanna, I'm going to an education at UCLA. I want to know who's running this country, how it works, who set up our government, who gave us our religions, where these religions come from. The whole idea of Christianity is nothing more than sun worship. I mean, who, the sun is our risen savior. Of course the sun is your risen savior. God's sun is our, well, you don't own the sun. Africa doesn't own the sun. So who owns the sun? Well, obviously God owns the sun. Well, then it's God's sun. And God's sun is the light of the world. Of course the sun's the light of the world. What, else, what the hell else lights the earth if it isn't the sun? <laughs> so God's sun lights the world. He's the light of the world. He's our risen Savior. Of course it's your risen Savior. If it doesn't rise, you're dead in six weeks. So wait till it don't come up. And you'll see it is your Savior. And the sun, the Egyptians said, the sun gives off energy. And energy is life. That's why you have, a life, you have the life of a battery. When the battery goes dead, it's no energy. So the Egyptians said the sun is pure energy, and it's giving its energy so that we might live. So God's sun is giving his life that you might live. Of course the sun's giving its life. It's giving its energy so that you can grow and the plants can grow. And once you begin to understand religion, where it comes from, the whole story of Jesus is nothing more than a metaphor. There was no Jesus, there was no Abraham, no Isaac, no Jacob, there was no Moses, no King Solomon. None of those people in the Bible ever lived. These are metaphors for something far deeper that the ancient writers were trying to tell you in a metaphor. There's a symbolic story. And if you don't get the symbolism, you will go for your whole life in trouble because you didn't know how to read the symbols. You don't know what's really going on behind the scenes. You drive down through Los Angeles to see all the spray painting on walls. You think there's a bunch of kids destroying property. No, no, no. Those symbols mean something. And if you don't know what they mean, you better stay out of the territory because they're telling you. If you come in here with a different particular race, that symbols mean we're going to kill you. And so if you're going on a bicycle ride in China, you better learn the Chinese symbols because you're going to get killed if you don't know how to read the symbols. And that's what most people don't know anything about how this world really, in fact, works. But once you figure out how the courts work, education works, education is nothing more than a 12-step program. Let me give you an example. In the ancient Egyptian religion, one of the many different religions in Egypt, the ancient Egyptian religion of Horus. Horus was the sun in its rising. He was a god, god the sun. And Horus was spelled H-O-R-U-S. And Horus walked across the sky in 12 steps. It was a 12-step program. That's why alcoholics have a 12-step program. You have a 12-step program. You go to the first grade to the 12. It's a 12-step program. Anyway, which is two words, gradually indoctrinate. You put them together, it becomes graduate. So for the 12-step program, they have finally taught you what to kiss and when and how to get a yeah, and how to get a job, and what and who to and who to bow down to, and all that. So they've taught you now, and now you can go out and get a job. It's the twelve-step program, first to the twelfth grade. What is that based on? Horus. Horus was our god, the the sun, the sun god in Egypt. He walked across the sky in twelve steps. 
Horus of the first step, Horus of the second step, Horus of the third step. When he got in the Horus of the sixth step, he was directly overhead. He was then called Horus, the most high God, because you don't get any higher than noon. So it's called high noon, because he's the most high. Why? Well, because after one o'clock, the sucker's going down. So, <laughs> so he was the most high at 12 noon. And so Horus walks across his 12 steps. So we say the same thing today. Same thing. We have 12 Horuses. But instead of H-O-R-U-S, we make it H-O-U-R-S. Becomes hours, changing the U and the R. Now it becomes 12 hours. No, it's 12 Horuses. And Horus represents light. The sun represents light. Light in Latin is Lucius. Lucius, when personified as a god, becomes Luke. And this is why I have Luke Skywalker. And he walks across the sky and meets his evil brother, Darth Vader, or in the Egyptian religion, Set. He was the god of darkness, the prince of darkness, was Set. Why? Because it got dark at sunset. So the whole idea is that it's the whole world that we live in is based on Egypt, Mesopotamia, ancient Greece, ancient Rome. All of the stuff that we live in this world is based on ancient religions and cults and secret societies and Masonic orders, and the people of this world have no idea in the world what's going on. I've spent 48 years studying occultism, mysticism, words, terms, legal terms, government, international banking, theology, religions. I'm telling you there's a world of knowledge you have never been told that's been right there for you, but it just never occurred to anyone to sit down for 48 years and study this stuff in the dark. I mean, the, 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 I have a high respect for all religions, for all belief systems, but I'm telling you it needs to be based on wisdom and knowledge. Let me give you an example in the Old Testament. In Arabia, in Arabia, looking east, there's a huge mountain range in Arabia, very high mountain ranges in Arabia, in the middle of Arabia. And so the Arabian people on this side, looking east, every night the moon would come out of the mountain. The moon would rise in the east, and it comes up behind the mountains. So the ancient Arabians, talking about thousands of years ago, they believed the moon was a god. It was a moon god. And obviously he lived in a mountain. That's obvious, because every night he comes up from the mountain. So he lived in a mountain, and his name, the name of the moon god in Arabia was Sin, S-I-N, Sin. And a mountain in the ancient Arabic, a very ancient language, was Ai. It's translated Ai. Ai is a mountain in the ancient language. So the god Sin lived in his mountain, Ai. You put them together, it becomes Sinai. No, there was no Sinai. There's a god Sin in the mountain called Ai. Airhead, wake up. It's just the worship of the moon god. This is why the Jews have their celebration out to sundown, because that's when the moon god comes out. They're not going to have their, 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 their holy days in the daytime. That's when the Christians are worshiping the sun. But God said, you don't want to have your holy days when they're worshiping the sun on Sunday with the Christians who worship in the sun. The Jews are worshiping the moon. So we wait till after sundown. Then we have our holy days. It's because of the moon God comes out and it's in Sinai. And, you know, and God, I could go on for hours explaining where these concepts and ideas have come from. That's why if you go to Israel and you go to a synagogue, it's not spelled S-Y-N, it's spelled S-I-N, synagogue. Because sin is the god of the moon, Agog, which is, we get from that, uh, the Gog and Magog, or Argog. Sin Agog is the house of the, of the worship of the god Sin, Sin Agog. S-I-N, not S-Y-N. So I'm just... Huh? I'd love to see you do a big, long, all-day seminar. Oh, yeah, I could sit and talk for days on this stuff. <laughs> days, several days. Be great. Yeah. Be great. I could sit and talk for days yeah. on, on this subject of religion, theology, uh, where all of these things have come from. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, well, where did you get this document or that document? Where, where can we read about this or that? Well, what I've done is I have uh, downloaded, give me that uh, that. DVD. And what I've done is I have, uh, thank you, I have downloaded all my files in one computer. I've got about three or four of them, but in one computer I have all my uh, text, dial, uh, text documents, PDFs and all that. So what I've done is I've just downloaded all of my 
documents from my computer into a DVD. It's like, I don't know, 5,080 different items, 161 different subjects, 3.4 gigs of documents on religion, government, courts, just the crap in the world, everything. <laughs> everything is going on. It's all here. There's all the documents are all here. And you find out where all this stuff really comes from and the worship of Saturn. And Saturn was in the old Phoenician language. In the ancient area, what we call Israel and Lebanon today was called Phoenicia. And in the old Phoenician world, they were worshippers of the planet Saturn. So when the Hicks tells people that we call Hebrews today, in, I, 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 incidentally, the word Hebrew is a derogatory term. It's like calling a Mexican a wetback. It's not a very nice term. And so, and, and so calling someone a Hebrew is not, it's a derogatory term. And incidentally, the Jewish yarmulke, that's not, it's not Jewish at all. That's Roman. That's why the, the Holy Father wears the yarmulke. Oh. The, the cardinals wear the yarmulke. Rome was here before Jews. And so under the Roman Empire, the Jews were ordered to show, show respect for the Holy Father. Or we're going to cut your head off. So you show respect for the Holy Father, you are under the Holy Father. So you show respect by wearing the yarmulke. So today we've got Jews running around with yarmulkes thinking it's Jewish. Not Jewish. It's Roman. The entire system of religion is Roman. The white man's world has dominated the earth with religion. And the Jews think that, they're, that they are a, a monotheistic religion. No, not monotheistic. Henotheistic. Christians think that they've got a, a, a corner on the truth and they don't realize they're just worshiping the sun. Let me give you an example. We got a couple of moments. Let me give you an example. I want to try and understand what I'm saying here. All of the religious concepts and ideas in Christianity and Judaism come from the northern hemisphere. We don't have anything in our Christianity or Judaism that comes from the, uh, from the Aztecs or the Mayas or the uh, Aborigines of Australia. All of our concepts and ideas come from the northern hemisphere. Very good reason. Because the whole thing of religion and Judaism and Christianity is astrology. It's based on the stars. That's what God is. Ask any kid where God is. He's out there. That's right, in the stars. That's what the what Christianity and Judaism is based on, the stars. <clears throat> and so, on the first day of summer, the very first day of summer, the sun is as high in the northern hemisphere as it's going to go. It's not going any further north than the first day of summer. Each day after the first day of summer, it begins to move one degree southward every day. It's so slight, you'll never notice it. But, six, but 90 degrees later, or 90 days later, which is three months later, it's halfway down. So when he was high in the northern hemisphere, he started summer. And summer begins in the constellation of Leo. He was the Lion King, like Disney's Lion King. The Lion King is the sun in the constellation of Leo that begins summer, the Lion King, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. It's Leo, the constellation of Leo in summer. The sun is hot, so he's the Lion King, Leo, the constellation. Now, 90 degrees later, 90 days later, he is falling. So now it's called fall. Yeah, because he was really hot, now he's falling. So he's not that hot anymore. So now we call it fall because he's falling. What is the symbol for fall if it isn't Scorpio, the backbiter? And this is why in the old ancient world, when a scorpion bites you, they have two stingers, one on top of the other, and when they, when they hit you, it looks like two lips. And then, so the ancient people said, you just got the kiss of death. He just kissed you off. Because you just got bit by a scorpion, and that's the kiss of death. That's why the mafia gives you a kiss of death. That's where it comes from. So Scorpio is the backbiter. He's the one that goes behind your back and rats on you, and he's the backbiter and causes you to die. And that's what Judas was, the backbiter, Scorpio, because Scorpio begins fall. So Jesus, who was the son of God, the God's son, the light of the world, he was the lion king in summer, but now he is falling. And so 